when I think about on passive being in a league of their own, um, I, you know, I, I talk to Marty on, on a regular basis, as, as all of you know, and I know Marty has the same situation that I have. How do you determine the league that an, on passive is in? You follow the money. And what does that mean? <clears throat> on a, almost on a weekly basis, I have individuals contacting me. And, and I know Marty has the same thing. And I'm sure there are other founders uh, that are experiencing this same phenomena. I have individuals contacted, contacted me. And these are multi-million dollar companies and billion dollar companies. Now get that. And why are they contacting myself and Marty and some other founders? They want to get in front of Ash Mufara. Uh, these individuals are very, very smart. They know what's happening in the market and they've seen on passive. And when you follow the money and you see the money rushing into on passive, wanting to get a piece of it. Uh, and, it, and it's not that they're, they're doing poorly. It's not that they're not making money. These are big hitters. They're making a ton of money. They want more. And they see that on passive is the place where more is going to be. Uh, Oliver talked about traffic earlier. And again, these individuals see what's happening. When you look at the, the traffic sources that Ash Mufar is bringing to the table, and how this is evolving. No, number one, uh, on passive has the best traffic sources in the world. It, it, they're not secondhand. These are the best traffic sources in the world. Ash Mufar is working with individuals that he's known for decades and they know how to drive traffic. I, Marty and I were talking about it the other day and, and we, were, we were talking and we're saying, you know, just look what we could have done if we had that traffic source. And of course, we laughed at each other because there's no way we could get that traffic source because you would have to pay millions of dollars a month just to get in front of these traffic sources. Well, this is what Ash Bufara has. This is what other people are seeing. And this is before on passive goes viral and we become the traffic source as Oliver said. But when you follow the money, the money's coming into on passive. They want a piece of on passive. Now, we don't put anybody in front of Mr. Mufara right now. He, he doesn't need any help. He doesn't need any money. And in, over time, these individuals might be able to get in front of Ash Mufara. And I say might. And again, these are very, very big hitters, guys. These are, it shows you where Unpassive is, how big Unpassive is. And we as founders are not the only ones that see it. Uh, these these guys are coming in. They see what's happening with Unpassive. Are we in a league of our own? Absolutely. No doubt about it. And the world is starting to recognize that. And they, they, they want in. They want a piece. But they can't get it. Because Ash Mufara, his loyalty is to you and I as founders. We as founders are in a league of our own. And as Vincent talked about, as Oliver talked about, nobody comes into on passive right now unless they come through us. Understand that. As a founding member, nobody comes into on passive right now unless they come through the founding members, you and I. We are in a league of our own. This, is, this has never been done before. Oliver talked about it. On, pa on passive is, is unprecedented that individuals, just average individuals like you and I, and by the way, I don't think anybody on passive is av average and ordinary. I think we're above average by far. But we're able to come in, participate with on passive. And what, what Mr. Bafara has done has put us, we are the stalwart. We are the wall. No one comes through that wall unless we give them permission to come through that wall. And that includes the big hitters, it includes customers, it includes resellers, it includes everything. Everybody comes through on passive. Uh, not on passive, but the, the, the founding members of on passive. When you start to understand the situation you're in, when you start to understand Oliver, when you start to understand Vincent and Lynn, you start to understand how powerful a position that we're all in 
as we look at on passive and what Mr. Mufara has done for all of us. And then I absolutely love, I absolutely love to follow the money and see the money start coming into on passive and hitting that wall. They can't come in. They can't even get in front of Mr. Mufara right now. Very, very rarely do Marty and I put anybody in front of on in front of uh, Mr. Mufara. Very, very rarely. Uh, it has to be a really special situation for us to do it. And, and I think other founders, they're in the same position. Uh, we just don't do that. We know that Mr. Mufara has all of this under control. Uh, we know that that on passive today, it really is unlimited. And when you start to think about how unlimited on passive is, where we're going, what we're doing, uh, and you start to think about being in a league of our own, it's so easy. It's so easy to visualize that. Uh, and, and, and when you think about how many victories we're gonna have moving forward as we go into the product launch to the global market and beyond, and beyond, the victories that are gonna be coming into on passive is gonna be, it's gonna be terrific. And each one of those victories, you and I as founding members, we get to participate in that. 